In 1974 he became a head of a division in the Swedish Armed Forces Chief of Staff and in 1978 head of the commando expedition at the Ministry of Defence. In 1981 he was appointed as a war materiel inspector at Kriegs Materiel Inspectionen, KMI, a governmental agency tasked with supervising and revise exports of war materiel to foreign countries. At the outbreak of the Beaufort scandal in the late 1980s he became one of the leading investigators into the scandal despite the fact that he was a personal friend of the CEO of Beaufort's, Martin Ardvo, for many years. Algernon died when he was hit by a train at the Stockholm metro station t Central N on January 15, 1987. Earlier on the day he had a meeting with the CEO of Nobel Industrier, the new owners of Beaufort's, Anders Carlberg about the allegations of smuggling against the company. During the conversation, Carlberg had told Algernon about an internal investigation which had confirmed that smuggling had existed. Due to Algernon's position as a leading investigator of the Beaufort scandal, it was speculated that he might have been assassinated, I.E. The subsequent investigation into his death, which ended on March 11, 1987, concluded that he had committed suicide.